right, guys. Uh, okay, I promised you um, that I would show you this software after I got it going good and figured out how to do a screen capture. So I did that, and I'm opening up Cyberlink Power Director 11 right now. And while it's opening up, I'm going to show you how to um, edit just a basic video with, you know, a few effects and whatnot. Um, so here, I've got it open, and I'm going to import the media file. And at first, I have a little trouble doing this. Um, I start out trying to get... Um, I'm just trying to get a short video, and so I know a few of them that I have, but it turns out that these don't all have audio in them, and it's nothing to do with this program. It just is the way that um, the video was, and these were some old videos, so um, they don't all have audio in them. And I play around with it at first and, and try to see... And here I stretch out the timeline just because I like to be able to see the wavelengths better. And I've got to make, you know, the, the uh, sections a little bit bigger just, you know, for my personal preference. And so I click on movie and I play it and there's no audio. So I just hit delete and then I'm going to go back and put this in because I wanted to show you how to... Um, erase it off of the screen if you don't just hit delete. You just hit the little trash can button there. And so I'm going to go pick a different video. And I'm looking and looking. And I'm going to try this one. And so if you look those are just the basic settings. And if you look right here, this one doesn't have audio either. So, that's not going to work. So, I click on the, the section and just hit the little trash can. Well, let's pick another one. And this one here, I know, has audio with it. So, this will be okay. So, I'm going to put that here. And then, I'm going to stretch it out. Well, do you see there where I'm, what I'm showing you is the wavelengths from the audio. Just showing that it's in the little audio section and it has audio. So, I'm trying it out and it is the video that I want. So, I'm going to stop that. And I'm going to stretch it out so I can see better what I'm working with. And this one is my daughter doing a cheer. <clears throat> and... In certain spots, she she says firecracker, and I know one of the effects here is a firecracker. So, that's what I'm going to insert here. And I'm in the particle room, which is some 3D effects, but that is not the one I want. I wanted the, um, the effects room. So, that's where I'm at now. And showing you different... Um, different ones that they have, the bubbles and candy canes. And I'm going to choose the fireworks here. And I'm going to trim it down to fit the section that I want. Right when she's saying firecracker. And so I have to find that spot. And right there it is. So I'm going to pick this up and I'm going to copy it and move it over to there. Right when she's doing the firecracker. And I just right click and hit paste. And I'm going to paste and move the clip. And move everything over with it. And now I'm going to trim this a little. But I, I had a little trouble doing this. What I ended up doing in the end is, you will see in just a minute, that I took out both of the, or took out one of those fireworks. And I just stretched it to be bigger. 
I don't know why I was trying to put two right next to each other. I guess I thought that there was a separate, you know, a, a section in between. So now I'm in the title room, and I'm adding the Bond title, which I had downloaded from their website, from the um, Power Link, or the Cyberlink website. Um, they have a whole bunch of stuff that you can download for free. So... I've inserted that title here, and then I trimmed it down to just about three seconds. I don't like very long titles. I like just, you know, throwing them in there and, and letting it go. And since I moved just the things on that track over, then I'm having to move the fireworks also back into place because they didn't move. They stayed on the, they're on a different track, so they stayed in place. And so now I'm I'm fixing those back to where they need to be. And that's where I did where I decide to just leave it as one and stretch it out to fit the whole section instead. So now I'm gonna go edit my title and I just right click on it and hit edit title. And it pulls up another, a separate box where you can change the fonts and size and everything. I'm just going to leave the font um, sections that they chose. And just re, um, you know, type in what I want. I'm going to move it around just a little bit. Um, I'm going to take that Cyberlink production out. And just erase that. And then I'm going to move these just a little bit. And you just click on it and drag it. And here I was trying to rotate, but then I realized that the details on this particular title screen is a uh, spinning they spin in anyway so that's why it wouldn't let me rotate it so I'm and that's what I'm checking here I'm going to see which I didn't really find it but I realized that that's what was going on so I was like oh okay okay I got it so just hit save and the title is all ready to go and see how it's wanting to spin in and I'm going to show you a preview of it that I watched too. And you just hit movie and hit play. And it'll play through the whole thing. If you leave it on clip, it'll just play the section that you have divided out. So I realized there that I want to trim it down. Because there's a nice little chunk in there that she was not doing anything. And that's not the one I wanted to use. I'm going to just... I know the section, so I'm just going to hit split and then click that section and get rid of it. And I'm going to move all timeline clips this time, not the ones on the same track. This way, it moves the firecracker um, effects with the video. That way, they stayed in place. So instead of moving just the... Um, just the sections on that track it moved the entire thing so I think that's about all I want and I'm gonna test it out and just watch it one more time oh no I'm going to add a transition here between the title you can either put it where it's just all on the title or it divides the two from the title and the video and it pieces them together like that and I'm going to play with a couple different ones just to show you so that was the box out and then I'm going to try the the film clip and I just drag it down there and put it back in place and that's what it would look like and which that's kind of my favorite one I, I don't know I'm just kind of fond of that film clip So, I'm going to look at a couple more here. And you see there is a ton of them. 
lots and lots of transitions and I'm just gonna stick with the film clip so this is a preview of what it's gonna look like and I think it's just how I want it I've got the fireworks right where they need to be and the ending is fine for me um, you can add credits at the end or you know some more caption or something like that but I'm just gonna go on to produce and hit the MPEG 2 file and I already have a custom uh, custom profile set up and you just need to go in and set up the settings that you like the best um, for your download speeds and things like that and I already have that all set up and I'm honestly not the best at picking those things so I just chose you know some basic settings that you know I had seen from you know another video that I watched on YouTube so I just went on and hit start down at the bottom and it didn't take too long because this is a pretty short video so it's almost done and then I'll be showing you a preview thanks for watching and don't forget to like subscribe and comment for more videos I went out to find how to kick out the hay where the girls are in the USA turn up the radio what I hear Elvis Presley singing chick Boys got the muscles, teachers got the brain, girls have the free legs and we 